Hindi Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. I get the first table row, but I don't want first table row. I want all the table rows. Then I use find elements. Now tell me what the find elements returns. List of list of what? List of table rows. Yeah, web elements only, but this is a list of table row web elements list of table row web elements that is what you have to see okay see <coughs> i think everybody is able to understand till here first what i did i retrieve the tag name and get the table then table is a web element. Web element contains a method called find elements. That's why I said table dot find elements. When it's a find elements by tag name tr, we get a tr list. So tr list or dot size gives tr list dot size gives what? What is the output of tr list dot size? Yeah, how many here? Three. Yes. <coughs> so I want to retrieve all the table rows using for loop, right? Because I want to retrieve first table row, second table row, third table row like that. So I'll write a for loop now, right? C. So what is the for loop? How do I write C? For initialization. Okay, condition Okay, condition then increment Okay, so I'll retrieve the first table row see See this logic. TR list dot get i retrieves the TR list dot get i retrieves the output as so I have three table rows. TR list dot get i retrieves what? I have three table rows. TR list dot get i get i i will be replaced with zero. We get the first table row. TR list dot get i Retrieve is the first table row. Right or not? Because I said TR list, I have three table rows, but I'm using TR list dot get i. I will be replaced with zero. So we get the first table row. We get the first table row. Get tau of i. Give me the first table row that I stored in the web element. Right or not? I stored in the first web element. Yes, fine. Now, now see the logic. Now tell me the answer. Every table row contains every table row contains what? <coughs> table data, but how many table data are there in each and every table row in this example? In this example, the first table row contains first table row contains three table data. I am not talking about every all the table rows because in this tr in this tr now currently when i is equal to 0 when i is 0 when i is 0 okay so this tr contains three table data so tr contains three table data when i say three table data means we can again apply see <coughs> so 
So what I did first, I retrieve, I took the table. In the table, I see multiple table rows. That's the reason I put find del means to retrieve all the table rows. Okay. Then I use for loop to retrieve the particular ray table row and try to store in a TR. And I checked it. Every table row contains three table data. So when I say multiple table data, so I have to use again find delimits. So TR dot find delimits by tag name TD. So what is the output of this now? What is the output for this TR dot find delimits by tag name TD? It gives the TD list. So when I print a TD list dot size, what is the output now? 3. Now, there are 3 table datas available in a single table row. Now, if I want to get the text for each and every table data, I have to use a for loop to retrieve the table data for each and every table data. See. This is the logic. So first what we have done, we get the table, then we get the using table, we get the table row list because we are using find elements, we get the tr list okay, and we print the tr list dot size okay, then we use for loop to retrieve the each and every tr, see for loop, to retrieve each and every tr and store in a web element and again this TR contains multiple table data. So I come here again, TR find elements by tag name TD. Again, when it's a find elements by TD, because there are three table data, so we get a list, table data list. So we're printing the size here. And again, if you want to retrieve each and every table data, because we have three, so let's use for loop for in j is equal to zero, j less than TD list dot size. Retrieve the first table data in the first table row, TD list of get of j. So how it will happen? TR is the first table row, then it comes here, it will try to fetch the first table data in the TR, then it will try to fetch the second table data in the TR, then it will try to fetch the third table data in the TR, right? So that is how it works, okay? Now this TD dot get text because we will get the text that is getting displayed in the web page. So I will run this program and show you, this is little complex, everybody has to practice, I will share the program, this looks this if you know the logic it is easy so let you practice it better to practice again and uh, check if there are any issues let me know we'll see doubts again tomorrow okay but today i'll share this programs with everyone so please practice it so this will work for this will work for <coughs> work for any table available in a web page right suppose for example i told you dynamic html tables will be there which will generate dynamic table rows dynamic table data so how do you get it? Using table trtd, that's it. I'm not using anything else. So it will work for any kind of website which will generate dynamic table rows or dynamic table data. It will happen. So let me run this now. 
I think this is a little complex to understand also because you have to spend time and see. So please practice it. Okay, because of the first time it will be difficult. Okay, once you see two, three times the program, it looks easy. Because we are not doing anything, we are just getting a table. We are trying to get the table row list. From the table row list, we are getting the first table row. And for the first table row, we are trying to get the table data list. And out of table data list, we are getting the first table data. And get the text of it. That's what we are doing. <coughs> Dynamic table is C. That's what I am saying. Here I have three table rows. Right. Suppose I have four table rows, this program will work or not? Is this program work for four table rows? Ten table rows? Twenty table rows? Twenty table data? Means what? Dynamic data will fetch. Right. There is no change. Right. <coughs> so that's a oh, that's an object. Okay. So now if you want to try, you create one more table with five table rows and five table data and try to use the same program and change the URL and check. It will work or not. It will work. So let's see the output now. <coughs> Jill Smith 50, 3 Yves Jackson 94, 3 Jackson Doe. Okay. If you want to practice this, that's what I'm saying. Suppose for example, I'll do one thing here. Anyway, people say that, you know, this will not work for some other some other thing, right? So we'll do one thing. So I, for you, I'll just do small change here. So let's take that same HTML page. <coughs> so. Suppose for example, this has three table rows, three table data. Now I'll change this table now. I'll change the table now. See in the background, I'll change it. Mm, that is available in... <coughs> Give me one minute, I'm changing the table data. Okay. Suppose for example, this has how many table rows now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 table rows. Right. When I try to run the program, it will work. See, there is no change. I am not changing the program. That is the objective of this program. Yeah, 15 table data will be there. So, you will get the number as 15 also. See, in the output you get 5 table rows and also 15 number. Both the things you will get it. So any kind of table data you can fetch, right? From this you can do it. It's easy also. Let this program runs. So for from Monday we have to handle frames, windows, alerts, take screenshot, mouse over, JavaScript executor. So all these things we have to cover from Monday onwards. Okay. So before we go and start these things, please everybody uh, look for frames, frames, HTML frames. Check in Google. Just type HTML frames. You will get a lot of websites. Please check HTML frames. Okay, that is important. How do we create HTML frames? Just for understanding, we never create anything, but just to understand, better to go and check the examples. HTML frames. <coughs> this opening still taking time to open the page. See here, five, five table rows. Okay, and it will write to Jill Smith 50, Hugh Jackson 94, John Doe 80, John Doe 80, John Doe 80. How many table rows? One, two, Three, four, five. <coughs> okay, so that's it done for today. I'll stop the recording.